podcast together. Um, I'm just going to go straight into it. We are going to start into a child's pose position today. So the knees a little bit wider than hip distance. Pressing the hands into the mat, forehead into the mat. Start by taking a big inhalation through the nose. Take some mouth open. And again, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling, releasing everything out from the mouth. And just keep going with this long, deep inhalation and exhalation. And try to feel the real connection with the breath. Try to let go of any thoughts, anything that's happened during the day, anything that will happen after this class. For now, try to really bring the awareness into the breath and into the body. And throughout your class, try to imagine or come back to the idea that the breath is the one that moves you rather than you moving with the breath. So the breath is number one, body number two. Releasing the face, feel the hips relaxing towards the heels. We're gonna do a little exercise here. So in the inhalation, we feel, we're gonna feel the rib cage open up to the side. In the exhalation, we're gonna try to tilt the pelvic floor, the tailbone upwards. Inhale, release. Exhale, feel the tailbone pressing towards the ceiling. Again, inhale, release. Exhale, tilt the tailbone up. One more. Inhale, release. Exhale, tilt the tailbone up. One last. Inhale, release, feeling the compression in the hip flexors, in the hips, and exhale, tilt. Slowly release everything. Close the knees slightly so they're right underneath the chest. Spread the fingers. Inhale, we're going to round the spine forward and pull forward. Exhale, lift the chest and chin and arch the spine back into the heels. Inhaling, waving forward with the breath and all four. Exhale, lift the chest and chin, ripple the spine back open. One more, inhaling, waving forward, rounding spine, pressing the mat away. Exhale, arch the spine back towards the heels. Inhale, round the spine, stomach towards the spine. This time, come, stop and pull forth. You arrange the hands underneath the shoulders. Open up the knees a little bit more. So take some deep circles, nice and wide. Closing your eyes, maybe. You're really feeling anything that works for you, anything that feels good right now, go for it. Whatever you need to loosen up, wherever you need to spend a little bit more time, do it now. That's your moment, your time one direction and then the other. Good, and then slowly, rearrange the hands underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers, the knees underneath the hips. Press them at the waist, stomach to spine. In the inhalation, we're gonna arch the spine, shoulder towards the hips, look up. Exhale, hug the inner thighs, round the spine away, chin to chest, fire up the core. Inhale to arch the spine and look up. Exhale, hug the inner thighs, round the spine, chin to chest. One more. Inhale to open up through the spine, shoulders away from the ears, look up. Exhale, squeeze inner thighs, round the spine, press them at the weight, chin to chest. Next inhalation, we're going to arch the spine, this time hug the heels towards the hips, look up. Exhale, press the feet down, squeeze inner thighs, round the spine, lift the knees off the mat. Inhale to arch the spine, hug the heels towards the hips, look up. Exhale to round, press the mat away, lift the knees off the floor. One more. Inhale to arch the spine and hug. Exhale to round the spine, press the feet down, knees off for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the knees down. Sit back into the heels. Place the fingertips down. We're going to tuck the toes under. So first of all, just to warm up the feet, you're going to lift the knees off the mat a few times. And then release the knees down. 
Make sure that the 10 toes are tucked under and then sit back, stomach to spine. We're gonna inhale, reach both arms up, bend the elbow so the wrist are behind the head and then press the head back, keep hugging the elbow in. And then slowly release. One more, inhale to lift, bend the elbows, press the hand back, head into the wrist, open up. And then slowly release, one more. Right hand forward, grab the hand and then press the wrist. So try to stretch the elbow, the arm away. Stretching the wrist. And then slowly release. Other, left hand, so the elbow is bent. You're gonna grab the hand and then press the wrist forward. Try to lock the elbow, stretch it forward. Breathe into it. And then slowly release, shake the hands. Then press the hands forward, shake the feet. Now do one more. Really engage in the core this time. Tuck toes under, press the mat away, lift the knees off the mat. We're gonna inhale into an arched spine here. Exhale, hand in the thighs, round the spine. Knees are off the floor all the time. Inhale, arch in the spine, looking up. Then exhale, round in the spine, pressing the mat away. One last. Inhale to arch the spine, look up. Exhale to round the spine, staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the knees down. We're gonna grab the outer edge of the mat. We're gonna press the mat away. We're gonna release the forehead down towards the mat. In the inhalation, we're gonna arch the spine, press the mat away even more. In the exhalation, we're gonna try to release and sink down. Inhale, ribs in, press them out away, look, look in towards the chest. Exhale, melt the chest into the mat. One more time. Inhale, press the mat away, hug the ribs in, look in towards the thighs, the chest. And exhale, this time to release all the way down, either just the forehead or chin and chest. Melting the armpits, the heart, the throat into the mat. Keep hugging the elbows and armpits towards each other. And at the same time, keep lifting the tailbone up. Slowly, try to lift up just a little bit so you can press the um, elbows down into the mat. Now, even just forehead, if you can, chin and chest. If you need to go deeper, see if you can cock the chin with the hands. And then slowly release everything down into the mat. We go a little bit from side to side. Let's take a couple of twists. Open up the arms to the side, lift the left leg, try to tap the floor, or even grab the foot with the hands in here. You have to come back to center, other side, right leg lifts up, see if you can twist, either just tapping towards the floor or maybe grabbing the foot with the hand. And then slowly coming back to center, fingertips into the side of the chest, open up the legs a little bit more, engage the glutes, stomach towards the spine, and then inhale, press them out the way to come up. Exhale to melt and release into the mat. Chin comes last. Pressing the mat away, inhale to come up. Spinal weights. Exhale to release into the mat. Melt into it. One more. Inhale to come up. Engage in the glutes, stomach to spine. Open the chest, look up. Exhale, same here. Inhale, pressing the mat away even more. Exhale, release. One more. Growing up to the spine even more. Inhale. And exhale, finally release everything down. Hands into the side of the chest, take yourself back, child's pose. Wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. And for the last time, we're going to inhale, come back into all four. So rearrange the hands, the knees. We're going to inhale, stretch your left arm and right foot off the mat and lift it up. We're going to flex the ankle, we're going to inhale, bend the knee into Try to tap the foot with the hand and then release. Inhale to tap. Exhale, release. Inhale to tap. Exhale, release. Inhale to tap. This
this time sit can grab the foot of the ankle and then press the foot into the hand to open up, to open up. Keep pressing, engage in the back, slowly exhale, release, knee to chest, round spine, and there's a release knee down. Wiggle the hip, the hips, and then slowly come back. Press the hands down, press the knees down, start to spine. Inhale to lift, other side. Exhale to bend and tap. Inhale to stretch, stomach to spine. Exhale, engage. Inhale to open. Exhale to engage. Inhale to open. This time, try to grab the foot or the ankle. Point the foot, press into the hand. Open up the chest to tap. Connecting with the core, with the breath. Slowly exhale, release, knee to chest, release the knee down, wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. And then finally, tucking toes under, spread the fingers, have the elbows and armpits towards each other, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Walk the dog a little bit from side to side, loosening up the hips, the hamstrings, and then find the nice. Downward dog position, keep hugging the elbows and armpits towards each other, bending the knees if you need, lifting the tailbone up. We're going to inhale, lift both heels off the mat and round the spine slightly forward. Exhale, arch the back, tilt the tailbone up, press it back. Inhaling to lift the heels, round slightly forward, mini waves, exhale, release it back. One more. Inhale, round it forward through the spine. Exhale, it arch it back. Inhale, lift the heels, round the spine forward into high plank, press it back away. Exhale, lift the chest and chin, arch the spine back. Down with his up. Inhale, wave it forward into high plank. Exhale, arch it back, down with his up. Inhale, wave it forward into high plank. Exhale, bend the knees and create mini waves that are into the middle. Really articulate the spine as much as you can with the breath. One last. And then lift the hips up, down with the up. Look at the hands and start walking the feet forward. Stop halfway. Now open up the heels a little bit wider maybe. And open up the toes out to the side. And exhale, release the hips down towards the heels. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, release. This time, walk the fingers forward, fingertips, chin down, wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. Release the hips down as much as you can. Attach the arms to the shins and lift the chest up. So making sure that the knees are in the same direction of the second toe. The hips are as low as you can. The top of the head is reaching up towards the ceiling. The spine aims to be as straight as it can. Breathe into it. Now, try to sit the right shoulder down, press against the right knee to open up. Stretching the side. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, other side, left side, press against to open up. And then come back to center, one more time. Right side, press against to open up. If you want, turn the hands in and take a bind. If not, just stay there. Breathe into it. Slowly, inhale to come back. Left side, left shoulder down, press against to open up. If you want, then can turn the palms in. And then press the hands away to open up the chest if you are into the bind. Slowly, you have to come back. Now press the hands forward. We're going to try to attach the elbows into closer to the knees. And transfer the weight forward. See if you can open up the knees a little bit more. It looks a little weird, but it should feel quite good. And then eventually, see if you can lift up the feet just a little bit. So it's not a full bakasana, just transferring the weight forward into the fingers. And whenever you're done playing, you're going to lift the hips up, close the feet, shake the legs off a little bit. 
and then inhale, lengthen the spine, look up, soft knees if you need, have the elbows forward fold. Allow the elbow team to sink down towards the mat, the head is heavy, shoulder towards the ears, keep actively lifting the tailbone upwards. So imagine that the spine starts from low down the tailbone. And then slowly release the hands down, soft knees, and start rolling up. Vertebra after vertebra. And then when you're up, press both hands into the hips. Take some hip circles, nice and wide, one direction. And then the other. Close the feet a little bit. Make sure it's the fingers, press the palms out, lift the arms up. Soft knees, we're gonna inhale, reach the shoulder towards the ears, arch the spine, and then tilt the hands behind the head. Exhale, round the spine, stretch the legs, arms forward, hands forward. Inhale, arch the spine, open up the armpits, look up. Exhale, round, hands forward. Engage the glutes, spread the shoulder blades. One more. Inhale to open up and arch. Exhale to straight the legs, then go down the round. Bend the knee, this time slide the hands behind the head. Same thing, we're gonna arch the spine, press the head into the hands. Exhale round, elbows in, stretch the, uh, the legs, press the head into the hands. Inhale to open up, arch the spine. Pressing the head into the hands. Exhale to close the elbow around the spine. Pressing the head into the hands. One more. Inhale to watch the spine. Open up. And exhale to round. And press. Lift the head up. Right hand into the, into the head and then take the head out to the side. If you want to go deeper into the old side, take it all the way down. Inhale to come back, then switch head. Inhale here and exhale go. Little bit of here and maybe take it down. Inhale to come back, release the head, maybe take a couple of rounds side to side, go all the way. Good. And then one more, open up the feet, hip distance or even a little wider. Press the hands into the hips and then press the hip forward, but hug the elbows in. Now come back to center. You're going to lift the hands up. Imagine that you're lifting the ribcage up. Squeeze the elbows in, hips forward, chest up. Eventually releasing the head back. And then slowly the feet back into standing. And then walk the feet forward. Maybe take it a little shake if you need. Preparing the feet, the legs, the hips, the stomach, the chest, the breath. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, right leg releases back into a lunge. From the back foot, so moving forward and back, activating the right glute. Releasing the knee and the foot down, squeezing our thighs, lift the chest up. Exhale, small back bend. Inhale to come up, hands down, tuck toes under, high plank. Knees, chest and chin into the mat. From the tailbone, roll forward into cobra. Tuck toes under, press yourself back, down and facing dog. Right knee to chest, right foot between the hands. From the back foot, so moving forward and back. Engaging the left glute now. Release the knee and foot down, squeeze inner thighs, lift the chest up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale to come back, hands down, tuck toes under, forward fold. Inhale to come up, look up at the thumbs. Exhale, right away, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, release the left foot down. Now keep the legs engaged. We're going to tap the knee down into the mat, and then inhale, lift it up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. 
Exhale down, release the foot, squeeze the grand thighs and trace the fingers, index fingers out, reach up and back. Inhale to come back, hands down, tuck toes under, high plank, press them at the way, engage everything. Knees, chest and chin into the mat. Slowly through the spine, rolling forward into cobra. Tuck the toes under, press yourself back, down if you stand up. Left knee to chest, left foot between the hands. We're going to tap the knee down, engaging the right glute, and then lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap it down, release the foot, squeeze the thighs, and place the fingers, index fingers up, inhale, exhale, back bend. Reach up and back. Slowly, hands forward, tap those under, press them under weight. Forward fold. Inhale to lift up. Look at the thumbs right away. Last one. Exhale. Forward fold. Hands down. Inhale. Lengthen the spine. Look up. Exhale. Right leg releases back into lunge. Release the knee and the foot down. Squeeze the thighs. Right arm comes up. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen towards the left side. Keep pressing both hips forward. Engaging the right glute. Maybe press the hands behind the head and then look up towards the elbow. Slowly, coming back, releasing both hands into the inside of the leg, walking the left foot out to the side if you need. I'm going to keep the foot uh, stretched this time, you can flex it if you'd like. I'm going to lift the knees off the mat, leading with the back leg, we're going to open up into Skandasana and then reach back into the lunge. Opening up Skandasana, press it back, low lunge, one more. Opening up into Skandasana, press it back into the lunge. Release the knee and the foot down. Tuck the toes under and then stretch the front leg. Staying here. Pressing the left foot down. Keep reaching the chest up and the tailbone up. Release both hands down to the mat. Now press them at the way around the spine. <coughs> Transfer the left leg straight back to the top. Inhaling, waving forward into high plank. Knees, chest and chin into the mat. Roll forward into cobra. Tuck toes under, press yourself back. Down with this and up. Right knee to chest, right foot down. Release the knee and the foot down, squeezing the thighs, left arm comes up, inhale. Exhale, lengthen to the side. If you want, you can bend the arm so the head is behind the head and then reach through the elbow. Slowly, in have to come back, press both hands forward, walk the foot out to the side a little bit. Now press the foot down into the mat and lift the knee off the mat. If you want, tuck in the toes under. In out here, exhale, open up to the side. In out, coming back through the hip, exhale, open up. In out, coming back, exhale, open up. Now, in have to come back, tuck toes under, walk the hand out to the side. And then stretch the front leg. Press the right foot down, lift the tailbone up and the chest up. Release both hands down. Press them at the way around the spine. Transfer the right leg straight back into down with the up. Inhale, waving forward into head plank. This time, exhale, release down to Chaturanga. Inhale, block. Exhale, down with the up. Stay here and breathe. Ground the hands, ground the feet, lift the tailbone upwards, stomach towards the spine, creating as much space as you can between each joint, each bone, each vertebra. Keep the connection with the breath. Look at the hands, bend the knees, walk or jump forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale to come up, look up with the thumbs. Exhale, release both hands in front of the chest. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, walk or jump back. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, open up into up dog. 
Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Same here. Three long inhalation and exhalation. Soft knees if you need. Keep lengthening the spine, pressing the mat away. Hugging the armpits and elbows in towards each other. With the hands, bend the knees, walk or jump forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, to come up without the thumbs. Exhale, release the hands forward. Tadasana. Open up the feet, keep this is apart. Hands, forward, hands up. Bend the knees down, look Tadasana. Now lift the knees off, lift the heels, sorry, off the mat and stay here. Engaging the legs, keep reaching the heels up. Strong ankles. Now start to bend down all the way. Heels together, press the hands forward. Attach the elbows to the armpits or up to, or up to the side. See if you can lift up into Bakasana. Engage in the core, pressing the mat away, try to stretch the elbows, exhale, jump back to the Inhale, yeah, open up. Into up dog. Exhale, press back down, if you dog. Right leg comes up, one leg out of facing dog, open up the hips and bend the knees, stay in here. Press the mat away, lift the knee up towards the ceiling. Now stretch the legs, square off the hips, flex the foot. We're going to put the foot into the outside of the left foot and then turn into a side plank. Reach the arm up and then take the hands down towards the mat. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, press the hand down, lift the hips, but keep the feet where they are. Inhale, we're going to pivot it to the left foot, reach your right leg up, one leg down, it's in dog. Knee to nose, round spine, right foot in line with the left hand, lift the hips and chest, open triangle. And one more time, take some rounds with the left arm this time. And then release the left hand down. Sit again, slide the right foot straight back into one leg by facing dog. Inhale, come forward with the chest, have the foot towards the head. Scorpion tail. Round spine, knee to nose. Release the right foot down. Release the left heel down. Square the hips, come up where you are. Stay here. Right away, we're going to open the arms and release the fingers behind the back. Press the hands down to open up the chest. Humble warrior, two shoulders on the inside of the knee. Breathe into the back, into the armpit, into the chest. You now have to come up into warrior one. Now raise the hands down, bend the front leg even more, and try to lift the left knee up. Squeeze the left knee toward the chest, and then let go and keep it there. One more time, squeeze it in. Leg go and keep it there. One more. Squeeze it in. Engage the hip flexor. Leg go and keep it there. Now reach the hands up. Squeeze it even more. Stretch your front leg. Slowly take it back into warrior three. Bend the front knee and let open up. Warrior two. Engaging the legs. Elbow is under. Shoulders are nice and long. Relax. Take it back. Reverse. Stretch the front leg. Big inhalation to come up. Exhale, Trikonasana, hands into the ankle, the shin, ground the feet down, lift up towards the ceiling. Slowly looking down, bending the front leg, transfer the fingers slower so you can lift the left leg up, half moon. If you want, bend the leg, wrap the foot and then press the foot into the hand. Focus into the balance. Slowly release the foot. Bend the front knee, coming back, warrior two. Now either just elbow to knee or sliding the hands into the inside, shoulder to knee into shoulder. If you want, slide the shoulder even more and bind. Then bring the tailbone under to open up the chest. If you want, stretch in the front leg. These are all options, so really do anything that suits you, your body. Slowly bending the knee. Releasing both hands down into the inside, lift the left heel up. Squeeze your thighs and reach your right hand up into a twist. 
When I pivot the feet into the outer edge of both feet, then exhale, sink the hips down. We're going to inhale, lift the hips up, press them up away. Exhale to release. So it was a bit weird at the beginning if you haven't done it. Inhale up. Exhale to release. One more. Inhale up. This time right hand down. Square the hips. Lift the hips up. Walk fingers and toes toward the side. Heels out, toes in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Look up. Exhale, forward fold in whatever shape you'd like. Whatever you need for now. Go for it. Maybe a twist, maybe interlacing the fingers, making sure that the neck is completely relaxed, the spine is as long as it can be. Slowly walk the hands and the feet toward the front of the mat, maybe open up the left foot out to the side. Open up the right foot out to the side, jump the left foot back a little bit. You're going to stay here, maybe even releasing the knee down if that's too much. Maybe you're going to come down into the elbow. I like to release the knee down and go into the outer edge of the foot. Whatever feels right again. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can see if you start walking, working the shoulder underneath the knee and look back. Eventually at some point the head will go through. Release it. Slowly releasing the hands down, open up the right foot to the side and then reach it back. If you can, let the toes under, squeeze the heel towards the hips. If you see the foot pointed into the hands, open up the chest like a back bend and exhale, bring the heels towards the hip. Keep squeezing the left glute, engaging the leg, reaching the hips down towards the mat as much as you can. Now square the right leg in. See if you can just switch the hands, pressing the right hand into the knee or forward, maybe along the side, pressing the left foot down, the hips forward, lifting the chest up, taking a small back bend if you want to go any deeper. And then slowly coming back, releasing the foot down, walking the hips forward and back a few times. Taking the hips back, sliding the heel forward, flexing the foot. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, rolling through the spine. Exhale, melting towards the leg. One more. Inhale, rolling through the spine. And exhale, melting towards the leg. Stay here. Take the hips slightly back. Fingertips down, engaging the core, inhale to lift, exhale to release. Inhale to lift, exhale to release. One last, inhale to lift, exhale to release. Now either staying here, hips 90 degrees, working into the hamstring. Option number two, coming forward into a longer lunge, the foot is past the knee, try to keep the chest forward, activating the legs. Option number three is lie down towards the foot split. If you are here, fingertips down, we're going to inhale, press the mat away, lift the hips slightly up, engaging the glutes, exhale, releasing. One more, inhale, lift up, exhale, release. One last, inhale to lift, and exhale to release, maybe closing your eyes, breathing into it. Try to detach yourself from any feelings. Just focus into the breath. And imagine that the breath is melting whatever tension is coming up. Now it's easy to say, but we all be there. We all are there right now. Good. Slowly, hands come down. Foot comes back. Tuck toes under. Lift the hips up. Walk the hands forward, round the spine, slide the right leg straight back into one leg that is in dog. Now shake it off. Shake, 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 shake. Now stretch the legs, grab the hips. We're going to inhale, come forward into one leg plank. One leg to plank up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down with the dog. Walk the dog a little bit from side to side. And then inhale, roll forward into high plank. 
Next, I'll release all the way down to Chaturanga into the mat. First of all, just wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. Stretch the arms forward in front of you. The temple is pressing down. The head is slightly lifted, the neck is very long. Now lift the arms up. We're going to roll the elbows toward the hips and then release the hands forward. Roll the elbows towards the hips. Stretch the arms forward. Inhale, rolling the elbows towards. And then stretch the arms forward. One more. Rolling the elbows. This time, interlace the fingers behind the back. Press the hands together. Lift the legs up. Shalabhasana, heels together if you can. Three. Two. And one. And slowly release. Move the hips a little bit from side to side. <sighs> Tuck toes under. The forehead is into the hands. Core is towards the spine. When I inhale, hug the heels towards the hips. And then release them down. And then hug them in. And then release them down. And then hug them in. And release them down. Now hug them in. Lift up the chest. Slide the elbows towards, grab the ankles, point the feet, lift up Dhanurasana. We're only going to do one, so make the best out of it and get in the back. Squeeze the glutes, open up the chest. Slowly releasing everything down, taking a little child's pose as a break. Wiggling the hips. Tuck those under, lift the hips up, down with the up, other side. Left leg comes up, one leg back is in up, open up the hips and bend the knee, press them up away, keep reaching with the knee up. Stretch the leg, square off the hips, flex the foot, right, left foot, sorry, on the outside of the right, and then pivot into a side plank. Take the hand down and up, down. Down, press it down into the mat, lift the hips up, keep the feet diagonally. Now, reach left leg up, one leg like this up. Knee to chest, release the left foot in line with the right hand, lift the hips and chest, open triangle. Take in circles with the right arm. Slowly, release the right hand down. Round the spine, slide the left leg straight back, one leg going to sit up. Coming forward with an open chest, arch in the back, hug the left foot towards the head like a scorpion tail. Opposite, round the spine, knee to nose, raise the left foot down, right heel down, coming up, where you are. Right away, open up the arms, introduce the opposite finger on top, press the hands down to open up the chest, exhale, forward fold. Keep hugging the inner thighs in towards each other, breathing into the chest, the shoulders, shoulder blades. Slowly, in up to come up into where you want, open up the arms, transfer the weight forward, lift the right leg up into the chest. Hug the right knee towards the chest, leg go and keep it there. Hug the knee in, leg go and keep it there, no movement. One more. Hug the knee in. Leg go and keep it there. Now stretch the arms forward. If they need any more, stretch your right leg forward. Slowly take it back into warrior three. Bend in the front knee. Open up. Warrior two. Hips are banded. The arms are long. The tension is in the stomach, in the legs, not in the shoulder. Take it back. Stretching the front leg. Reaching even more. Big inhalation to come up, exhale, Trikonasana, ground the feet, hands wherever suits you, lift the hips open and the chest open. Shoulders in line with the hips. Look down, walk the fingers forward, bend the front knee, reach your right leg up into half moon. If you want, bend the knee, foot into the hands, press into it. 
releasing the right foot down into warrior two. Now, option number one, stay here. Option number two, shoulder to knee to shoulder. Option number three, work the hand, the shoulder down into a bind and then bring the tailbone under to open up the chest. If you want, stretch in the front leg. Bending the knee, releasing both hands down, squaring the hips, lifting the right heel up. Squeezing your thighs, which your left hand up into a twist. Now pivot into the outer edge of both feet and release the hips down. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Now lift the hips up, square them off. Walk fingers and toes towards the side of the room or the mat. Heels up, toes in, now lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Again, in whatever shape you'd like. Whatever feels good, wherever you need. If you want to go up into a tripod, do that. If you want to slide down into a split, do that. And then slowly, in a length of the spine. And then exhale, bring it back towards the front of the room. Foot is a little bit wider, lizard. So either just hands, elbows, rocking from side to side with the knee open or start working the shoulder underneath the calf. Looking back towards the knee, towards the back foot. And then slowly release. Open up the left foot and the knee towards the side and then reach back with the left hand. Back toes under, now see if you can squeeze the foot towards the hips and point the foot into the hands, inhale and exhale, bring the heel towards the hips. Keep squeezing, especially the right hip forward, engaging the leg, engaging the glute, the back, chest is open. Now pivot the left foot in, see if you can swap the hand into the foot, either stand here, maybe Hands come forward, maybe to the side, lifting the chest up, taking a back bend if you like. Slowly chin the chest, exhale, release the right foot down, and then walk the hips forward and back a few times. Now slide the heel away from your flexor foot, you now lengthen the spine, look up, exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, roll through the spine. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, roll through the spine. Exhale, long spine to come down. Stay here. Keep flexing the foot towards the face. Keep lifting the tailbone up. Slowly coming back. Walk the hips back a little bit. Fingertips down. Inhale, we're going to engage the core and lift up. Exhale, release down. In and up. Exhale, down. In and up. And exhale, down. Now, either you're going to stay here or you're going to walk the foot forward into a longer lunge or you're going to slide down into a full split. So the sun came. I hope you still can see me. Fingertips and down. We're going to inhale and lift the hips up. Engage in the legs and exhale slowly to release. Inhale to lift up and I keep guiding you through it and I close the curtain and exhale release. Inhale to lift the hips up and exhale release. This will be better. And then stay into it. Breathing, doing whatever you feel like you need. Focusing especially on the exhalation, letting the body to open and release. And then slowly both hands come forward, it comes back, back toes under, lift the hips up. Both hands forward, now press them all the way around the spine, slide the left leg straight back into one leg that is facing up. Shake it off. Coming forward into 
one leg plank, one leg chaturanga, inhale up top, exhale down with the sin dog. Inhale, roll forward into high plank, exhale, release down into chaturanga all the way down. Fingertips down, now press them at the weight with a spinal weighted up. Now keep pressing the mat away, see if you can lift the chest up as much as you can. Look up. Now see if you want to engage the legs, see if you want to touch the feet towards the head. And then slowly release down. Inhale, open up into up top. Exhale, press it back. Down, releasing up. Last things. Inhale, one leg down, releasing up. Knee to nose, round spine. Now press the right foot forward, 45 degrees, and then release it down. Pigeon. So here, if you need a pillow underneath the hip or a block, press it underneath the right hip. Now to release the hips down. So if the foot, it's here, it's easier. If you want to go a bit harder, you take the foot out to the side. Fingertips inhale, and exhale, roll down. However you can, try to stay into this position. If you're gonna go a little bit deeper, you can try to slide the left hand down, maybe bending the elbow, and the namaste, pressing the mat away into a twist. Slowly, we're gonna inhale, come back. And if the foot was out to the side, we're gonna bring it in. Fingertips down. We're gonna inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, engaging the hips, the core, the glutes to lift up. Exhale to release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Now, right hands forward. Look back, see if you can tuck the toes under and hug the heel. Eventually, grab the foot, take it towards the hips. If you can, slide the foot into the elbow, reach your right arm up, and take a bind. Marmite. If you can go deeper, you want to go deeper, so if you want to grab the foot, take the left hand forward, and then exhale, bring the foot towards the head. And then slowly release it down, tuck toes under, lift the hips up, down and sit up. Walk the feet a little bit from side to side, the knees from side to side. Other side, so left leg comes up, one leg down, facing up, knee to chest, front spine, right foot forward, gently release it down. Rearrange the hips, place in a pillow or a block underneath the hip if you need. If you want to go deeper, flex the foot and take it out to the side, then bring the hip on top of it. Fingertips, inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, long spine to release. Stay here. Breathe into the hip. Keep trying to squeeze the hips together. This time the right hip forward, the left hip back. If you want, slide the right hand into the side, maybe bending the elbow, pressing the mat away into a twist. And then slowly release down. We're gonna bring the heel in towards the hips. Fingertips down, or not hands at all. Now press them out the way, lift the hips up, and exhale, release. Inhale to lift up, exhale, release, and exhale, release. Now left hand forward, right hand back, tuck toes under, squeeze the heel towards the hip. Now see if you can point the foot into the hands and exhale, bring the heel towards the hips. If this is okay, you can try to slide the foot into the elbow, lift the left arm up, and bind the hands. If you can and want to go deeper, so if you can grab the toes with the left hand and then reach your right arm forward, and eventually reaching the right arm up, grabbing the foot, keep hugging the elbows in, lifting the chest up, and exhale, hug it in. Slowly exhale, release down, tap toes under, lift the hips up, down with the sin dog. 
We're gonna inhale, come forward, and then release the knees down. Release the hips back, fingertips down, or just the hands down around the spine. You have to lift the knees off the mat. Exhale to release. Inhale to lift. Exhale release. Inhale to lift. And then see if you can walk the feet forward. If not, just walk the feet forward however you can. Press the feet down, move the knees a little bit from side to side. A little bit of core to finish off with, pointing toes, reaching the knees up, squeeze them towards the chest, both hands forward, squeeze, 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 forehead to knees, feet down, hands down, lift the hips up, one more, inhale up, exhale, squeeze and hug, feet down, hands to the side of the hips, lift up, one more, inhale to come up, squeeze and hug, this time, see if you can stretch one leg up, and down, the other leg up, and down, one leg up, the other leg up, hug it in, hug it in, hug it in. Bend the knees, release the feet down, both hands behind the hips, finger towards the hips, hug the elbows, lift the hips up. Chest up, eventually head back. Slowly exhale, release down. This time stretching the legs if you'd like. If not, repeat the same. Hug the elbows in, lift the hips and chest up. And then slowly exhale, release down. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale slowly forward fold. Doing whatever you need. Walking the hips away. Or head towards the shins. Keep lengthening the spine and slowing down the breath. Allowing the feet to roll to the side, stomach to spine, it's like doing that up. And exhale very slowly, release all the way down into the mat. Hug the knees into the chest, release the left foot down, keep the right knee up, inhale and exhale, take a twist, looking back towards the right hand. The eyes are closed, I'm slowing down the inhalation and the exhalations. Now to come back to center. Exhale, we're going to change leg, right hand into left knee, inhale and exhale, take a twist. And then slowly coming back to center, stretching both legs up, flexing the feet, dropping the outer edge of both feet, happy baby. Wiggle a little bit from side to side. So this time is almost done. Um, if you need an inversion of any kind or a back bend, please feel free to do so. I'll have to end it here. Feet together, trace the fingers, reach the knees away from you. And then release the feet down, the hands down towards the side. Feel free to stay here for a while longer or stretch the legs out into full Shavasana. And we're done. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, mouth open. <sighs> Inhale, all the way up to the top of the head. Exhale, release. <sighs> One more. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, let go. In the body completely happy and relaxed, melting into the 
Prima. There's no tension in the body. There's no tension in the face. There's no tension in the mind. Let's keep the awareness in this very present moment. Allowing the healing effect of the practice to happen during this moment of relaxation. Please keep enjoying the Shavasana for a while longer. I'll say thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.